The famously spotted breed, the Dalmatian, is an extremely popular breed globally due to their incredibly playful and loving personalities. Their highly athletic build and high energy makes them a great active companion. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you all you need to know about grooming your Dalmatian. Welcome back to the Fenrir Dalmatian Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Dalmatian. Then, how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect Dalmatians. So if you're a lifelong Dalmatian lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new pup, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Dalmatian video. So let's jump right into today's video and find out all you need to know about grooming the wonderful Dalmatian. Male and female Dalmatians measure from 19 to 24 inches tall, weighing between 48 and 55 pounds. Males tend to be larger than females. Dalmatian puppies are born with completely white fur and their spots develop as they grow older. Usually the pup's signature spots begin to show at around two to three weeks. And generally, once they reach four weeks, most of their sp spots will be present. However, this isn't the end of the spot development as they continue to slowly develop as the dog grows throughout the rest of their life. Just like our fingerprints or like the diversity in snowflakes, Dalmatian spots are one of a kind to each pup. The most common colour for the spots to be is either black or liver coloured on a white coat, but there are different variations including pups with brindle, blue, orange or lemon spots. Dalmatian's coats are dirt repellent, so even if your pup decides to roll around in the biggest muddy puddle, you can be sure that they will still dry to a brilliant shine. It's important to be aware of the fact that the Dalmatian sheds all year round. There is a very common joke between Dalmatian owners that they are dogs that shed at two different times, during the day and during the night. So you do need to be ready for the hair that they shed and you will find it round your home and on your clothes. You should brush your Dalmatian every week with a medium soft rubber curry brush to remove any loose hairs and any dirt. This will help to reduce the amount of hair that finds its way onto your clothes and furniture. Regular brushing your Dalmatian means that you do not necessarily need to bath them as much. They will not need much more than three or four baths a year and it's important to be aware that actually more frequent baths will remove the essential oils from their coat and their skin which can make them dry and flaky. This could lead to itching and irritation of the skin which can develop further into serious skin conditions. You should brush your dog's teeth at least two or three times a week to remove any dirt and tartar buildup and any bacteria that could cause illness or infection. Dogs brushing will prevent gum disease and bad breath, so you can also introduce your dog to dentist sticks, which are a great way to keep their mouths and teeth healthy and clean. If your dog does not naturally wear down their nails, then you'll need to have them trimmed once or twice a month to prevent any painful tears or other issues. If you can hear them clicking on the floor, then they're too long. If you're not experienced in trimming dog's nails, then it's a good idea to ask your vet or groomer for pointers, as a dog's nails actually have blood vessels in them so if you cut them too far they can cause bleeding which could become a very negative experience for your dog. Be sure to check your dog's ears weekly for any redness or a bad odour which may indicate an infection. When you check their ears be sure to wipe them with a cotton wool ball dampened with a gentle pH balanced ear cleaner to help in preventing any infections. It's important that you do not insert anything into their ear canal and just clean the outer ear as this could cause damage to their ears and cause infections. In order for your dog to get used to being brushed and examined, you should start this throughout puppyhood. The best way to do this is to handle their paws frequently and look inside their mouth. Grooming and regular checkups will help your dog to see it as a positive experience to not fear any veterinary exams when they're an adult dog. Fill the time with a load of praise and treats and they will see it as a much more positive experience. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved in the comment section down below, and don't forget, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe as we have three dedicated Dalmatian videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Dalmatian Show.